What's going on everyone, DJ Mad here and I want to welcome you back to the channel. Today I'm diving into how I use FabFilter Pro Q4 for sidechaining inside of Cubase 14. Whether you're mixing a track, creating space for vocals, or just simply tightening the low end, this trick is definitely going to help you get professional results. So let's jump right in. So here we are inside of Cubase and I have an instance of FabFilter Pro Q4 open. In simple terms, Sidechaining lets one track control how another track reacts. Most people associate this with compression, but with Pro Q4, you can take it a step further by dynamically EQing specific frequencies with spectral dynamics. And this is perfect when you want to curve out space for one instrument without affecting the other. Here's an example of what I'm working with. So for this example, I am side chaining a bass line to a kick drum. This will help the kick cut through the mix without making the bass sound thin. So here's how it's done. Insert Pro Q4 on your bass track. In my case, I've already done that. Once it's loaded, create a node, right click on it, and select the option that says Make Spectral. This will allow Pro Q4 to reduce specific frequencies based on the incoming side chain signal. Next, we need to set up the side chain in Cubase Pro 14. Click here to enable the side chain input for Pro Q4. Then you're gonna click on the drop down menu, add sidechain source, and you're gonna look for your kick track. In this case, I have a kick bus. Now that I have the sign chain selected, I'm gonna play the track so I can see where the problem areas are. So I'm gonna navigate the node to as close as possible to where the red crashing frequencies are. Once I'm there, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, click on this button, and I'm going to turn on input sidechain. So I'm going to bring down the threshold. I think that's enough. I'm going to bring down the attack. I want it to be really fast. And the release, I want it to be semi-fast. Like, oh, but I'm going to put it right in the middle. On the spectral density, I like putting it all the way up because I want it to be very detailed. Then I grab this right here and I bring this down to about negative nine. I go to the Q and I go to 30. The kick is taking away the frequencies that is crashing with the bass. Without side chaining, the kick and bass are fighting for space. But once you enable Pro Q4, the kick punches through clearly. Using FabFilter Pro Q4 for sidechaining inside of Cubase 14 is a game changer. If you found this video useful, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you don't, then whatever.